I need to talk to you. Why? I know you don't. But yeah, you know more about my relationship with Spinelli you than never I'll... listened to me. Oh, that's a slight exaggeration. I'm sure I've listened to you at some point, haven't I? Not last night. I advised you not to go to Spinelli and tell him that you were getting a divorce. And I listened. You broke land speed records getting to his table. Yes, I, I went to Spinelli's table, but I didn't mention my divorce until he brought up Jason and Sam's non-divorce, and even then he had to drag it out of me. And then, after badgering me to confide about my personal life, he barely reacted. What kind of reaction were you expecting? Uh, I don't know. I, I told you so. Congratulations, Maxie, for finally freeing yourself from the confines of false matrimony. Now we're free to explore our destiny as mates of the soul or something Spinelli like that. Oh, but he was on a date with Ellie, someone whom he really liked. Oh, my God. Lulu. I just realized he's probably still completely freaking out about Jason. Yeah, so it's probably a really bad time. I mean, Jason was our friend, but he was Spinelli's hero. And there is no way an outsider like Ellie could understand that. Ellie. Hi. I'm collecting money to send flowers to Dr. Quartermain. I don't know if you've heard, but her son is missing. And presumed dead, I know. He was actually one of my boyfriend's best friends. Oh. Damon's beside himself. I just feel so bad for Dr. Q, and not to mention her daughter-in-law. Apparently, their baby had just re been returned to them, and now this. Oh, well, this is so nice of you, Sabrina. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh! Dr. Drake, I didn't see you there. What the hell are you doing? More flowers, Monica. Our... Deepest sympathies, the board and staff of ELQ. Well, that's appropriately businesslike, wouldn't you say? <sighs> Monica, I'm sorry about Jason. I, I never really thought anything would ever happen to him, despite the way he lived. I, it's just a shock. Yes, it is a shock, Tracy, and it's all your fault. This case is really personal to me because I've known the Quartermains forever. And Robin was really close with Jason. I read in the newspapers that this Scully character is responsible. There's evidence he had an accomplice. I think that's the person who shot Jason Morgan. Spinelli, what do you want? The truth about Sam's baby? No. You worked in concert with the deranged Heather Weber and replaced Miss Delgado's deceased child with Sam's live offspring. You're trespassing. As I'm sure you know, Mr. Manning, Sam lost her husband. She's bereft, she's heartbroken, and you, you have the means to provide her some solace. Please, stop playing Sam for a fool. I'm not playing anybody for it. You need to get out of here before I call security. Okay, remove me if you must. But just tell Sam that she was right to suspect you. Admit responsibility or, or shared responsibility for kidnapping the child. Why are you picking on me? Sam has her baby back. Leave me alone. You know Sam, Mr. Manning. And I, and I do believe that in your own Manning-esque way, you care about her. Don't you think Sam deserves to hear the truth from you? Diane? What are you doing here? Hey. 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 Oh, hey. Handsome man. Oh. Is that for me? So you think this Scully person had a partner in crime? More a boss than a partner. You know, this is all going to come out in the next few days. But Sonny Corinthus' accountant, he was shot with bullets from two different guns. Now, we've matched one to Scully's weapon, but we haven't id the second gun yet. Well, it sounds more like an accomplice than a mastermind. Except for the fact that Scully's son said his father had admitted to taking orders from someone else. Do you have any leads? Nope. Not yet. But we'll find him. You sound determined. Oh, I am. Very. Jason was Monica Quartermain's only living child. She has got to be devastated. So we owe it to her to find out who killed her son. How is Jason's death my fault? Well, the police told me that your mobster boyfriend killed him. Yes, he is a suspect. You knew he was a murderer and a rapist. 
You let him into my house, even though he had tried to kill Christina Davis. He told me that Sonny had shot him. If you had called the police the moment he walked into this house, he would have been charged and he'd be behind bars. What do you want me to say, Monica? I'll do better next time? If you hadn't been so desperate after Luke dumped you, my son would be alive today. If you're looking for someone to blame for Jason's death, look in the mirror. I was just collecting money to send flowers to Dr. Q. Would you like to contribute? No, I don't want to contribute. In fact, I want you to stop. Oh, I, is the hospital already sending something? I don't care what they're doing. In fact, I, 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 I want you to stop. I don't understand. Is it against policy to collect money, even if it's for a good cause? A good cause? You don't know what you're talking about. Jason Morgan is a murdering criminal. Patrick. Why are you yelling at Sabrina? What Elizabeth, is going why don't on? you explain to Sabrina? But we'll all be better off if Jason died months ago. Did he seem unusually distracted last night? Because he barely reacted when he found out I was free and we were available to have a future together. Um, maybe that's because he was with another woman. Well, she wouldn't leave. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe you should find a nice private moment. At the floating rim. Not likely. When he's not on a date. <gasps> Lulu, you're a genius! Spinelli and I can discuss my divorce and our future together tomorrow night here at the Halloween party. Oh, where there will be nothing but private moments, because isn't he going to celebrate Halloween with Ellie? What do I care? What do you think's more important, a date with a girl he barely even knows, or my birthday, which just conveniently falls on Halloween? <gasps> oh my gosh, what a coincidence. Oh, I just need to ask Spinelli before Ellie does. <sighs> I really wish Jason hadn't messed up this timing. Most of the time, I don't know what you're talking about. But this time, Spinelli, I really don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, contrary, Mr. Manning. J'accuse! Oh, you know what? You can, you can accuse a vous all you want, all right? I was already j'accused by McBain, and the PCPD let me go. Why? Pourquoi? Because they didn't have any evidence. Well, a lack of evidence in the hands of law enforcement does not preclude an abundance of it elsewhere. You know what? Your lack of physical strength will not prevent defenestration. Nor does it preclude the eventual window-based Ejection of you from my domicile, see? You underestimated me. I'm a private investigator, Mr. Manning, and I'm a good one. So I would advise you not to underestimate me. I am tenacious. I understand human vulnerability. And most importantly, I am not bound by the strictures of law enforcement. In short, I can prove you're guilty. Is that for me? It's what for you. Oh, this? Uh, no, this is just some legal correspondence I was, uh, I was looking over, trying to multitask. Oh, really? You look like you were about to slide it under my door. I was picking it up because I dropped it. Hey. I, um... I heard about Jason. <clears throat> I just came by to offer my condolences. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't need your condolences. His... Jason isn't dead. Right, right. The body was not found. Which, of course, can bring up all sorts of sticky legal issues. Please feel free to contact my office if you have trouble with any of them. Jason and I would not use you as a lawyer if you were the last lawyer on Earth. You helped Todd Manning walk. The charges against Mr. Manning, there was, there was no proof they were unfounded. I simply got them dismissed, as I have done countless dozens of times. Please do Jason. not compare Jason and Todd Manning. and Take your legal crap and get out of my home. Is there a problem there? Sabrina, a word? Yes, Doctor. What did you do to upset Dr. Drake this time? How could you say that about Jason? What do you expect me to say after what happened to Robin? Her death was an accident. An accident that shouldn't have happened, Elizabeth, because she shouldn't have been in that lab getting that pro call to save his life. She would have done that for any other and patient. And any other patient would still be alive. But no, she sacrificed her life so he could live, and he threw it away. That is not true. Come on, you're smarter than that. What do you think he was doing down at the pier, fishing? No, he was there on business, and he got shot. He was helping a friend. Sonny's accountant is not a friend. That's organized crime. And I don't understand how you defend the guy. After everything he did to you, you were, you were Robin's friend. You know who else was Robin's friend? Jason. And I think she would really hate how you're using her death to beat up on him. Nice work. Enlighten me, Tracy. How did I kill my son?
You and Alan both coddled Jason and AJ. You excused and ignored their mistakes, their selfishness, and all of their crimes. AJ made mistakes. And Jason didn't? He was just a hitman for the mob. Jason was not responsible for his choices. He had a brain injury from a car accident. Was that the drunk driving accident that A.J. caused, or was that not his fault either? And A.J. paid dearly for that. As a matter of fact, it ruined his life more than it ever did Jason's. No, Monica. Both boys were already ruined because you and Alan were more interested in philandering than you were in your boys. It is no wonder they met terrible ends. And you were so good at parenting. And my boys, Ned and Dylan, are both still alive. And yours are gone due to you and your moral failings. Can you really deny that? No. No, I can't. I really shouldn't be talking about this. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Yeah. I've just always enjoyed watching you work. Mm. You're so passionate about it. I am. So you, you got a job? Sorry. I did. I'm uh, attending bar. Aren't you a bit overqualified for that? <laughs> you know, when you've been rolling in prison for two decades, your resume tends to have lots of gaps in it. I see. Yeah. Where are you going to work? The Haunted Star. 